most people would agree that learning to drive in an automatic is easier than learning to drive in a manual. And as a driving instructor, I will say teaching someone how to drive in an automatic is easier than teaching them how to drive a manual. So why is it that the pass rate is lower for automatic? Between 2010 and 2019, the overall pass rate for the whole of the UK for all tests was between 46 and 47%. It's very consistent actually, every year it's around 46 to 47%. But during that same period, automatic only tests had a pass rate of between 38 and 39%. That's quite a bit lower. So why do more people fail in automatic than they do in manual? It's important to understand that not everybody learns automatic because they can't learn manual. The majority of people who learn automatic choose to do so. They don't want to learn manual because it's more work and in the future most cars are going to be automatic. That makes total sense. I understand that. But the reason why the automatic driving test has a lower pass rate is because an automatic driving instructor has a higher percentage of pupils who find learning to drive challenging. That doesn't mean all their pupils find learning to drive challenging, just a higher percentage. Here are three main reasons why an automatic driving instructor will have a higher percentage of challenging pupils. The first reason is some people who choose to take the automatic driving test are choosing automatic because they want to get their driving license as quickly as they can with minimal effort. Now you probably know from other areas of life that when you try to do something as quick as you can with minimal effort, you're not usually as successful at it than if you're willing to take your time. Now, please don't berate me. I am not trying to put automatic learners down. Please learn what you want. All I'm doing is trying to explain why I, as a driving instructor, with my experience, my 12 to 13 years of experience of teaching people to drive, why people who learn in automatics have a lower chance of passing. The second reason I believe an automatic instructor is more likely to have a challenging pupil is because some people choose to do automatic after having tried manual and not got very far. And the trouble is, they're not usually solving the issue. The gears are rarely the issue. In fact, when I teach people to drive, I would say in a manual, gears are less than 10% of what they're learning. It's position, speed, decisions, rules of the road, confidence there's so many other aspects to driving than just gears and if someone's struggling to learn in a manual and then they go to automatic yes it's going to be easier for them but the reason why they were struggling in manual is probably not the gears it's probably because maybe they're not very confident going to automatic may increase their confidence a bit or they succumb to pressure around them too much part of learning to drive is to learn not to be pressured by other people to do things in your own time. And if you're not addressing that issue, then yes, you will struggle in a manual, but you will also struggle in an automatic. Although you will find the automatic easier, it won't exactly be plain sailing. In fact, I'm currently teaching someone to drive who called me up looking for automatic driving lessons because manual wasn't going anywhere. They were trying to learn in the manual and they were only getting frustrated. She agreed to do one manual lesson with me because I was curious as to why she was struggling and I wanted to see what was going on. She didn't know much about the clutch and gears. She did have very limited knowledge. So I gave her much more in-depth explanation of what she needs to be doing. I took her somewhere very quiet and I also gave her the confidence to take her time by explaining it's normal to be slow and it's normal to make the odd person irate when you're learning to drive, even if you're in a quiet area. And she flourished. She's very talented. I'll put her in the top 10% of people who are able to learn to drive in terms of how easy it is to teach her. Really quite easy. She's done really well. And I think the trouble is she was trying to skip learning and go straight to driving. And I think many people do. They try and get in a car and drive with traffic at their speed straight away before they've learned. If you skip learning, 
learning to drive gets challenging and takes a lot longer. Reason number three is disability. Some people have to take their driving test in an automatic because they're not able to drive a manual. And you may be thinking, well, how does being disabled lower the pass rate for automatic? You've got to use your imagination on what the disability could be. Let's say the person has no legs. Now they've got to steer, do the speed, do the indicator, keep the window clear of water by using the windscreen wipers and clear of mist by using the demisters with only their hands, whereas most people have their hands and legs. Therefore, it's understandable if the success rate is lower because that's far more challenging. Please bear in mind, I am talking about the UK here. I understand that every month between 60 and 70% of my views come from outside of the UK. So if you're in America, say, it's normal to learn an automatic. But over here, it wasn't normal, but it is becoming the norm. And I have some figures for you. So in 2011, 4.4% of tests were automatic. In 2012, 6.1% of tests were automatic. Then the next year, 6.4%, then 6.9%, 7.5%, going up 8.1%. At 2017 now, at 9.5%, 2018 at 11.1%. And the last full year I've got data on, which isn't affected by the pandemic, is 12.6% automatic tests in 2019. So as you can see, automatic is gradually becoming the norm in the UK, but it's gonna take a while before it is more than 50%. I wouldn't be surprised if it's the mid 2030s or maybe even the early 2040s when the majority of people are learning automatic in the UK. I would be really interested to know what year you think automatic tests will outnumber manual tests in the UK. Let me know in the comments what you think. I've had a little bit of a calculation in my head, a guesstimation, should we say, and I'm going with 2037. I could be right, I could be wrong. 2037 automatic tests will outnumber manual tests, but we'll have to wait and see. What I find interesting about this is that even though automatic tests have trebled over the last 10 years, there's three times as many people doing automatic tests now, the pass rate hasn't increased, not at all. Which I don't understand because I would think as more people choose to do automatic because manual is gradually going out of fashion, that the pass rate would then start to equalize with the overall pass rate for the whole of the UK, but it hasn't started doing that yet. And I think it's because it's still only around 12% people doing automatic. As that percentage increases, so won't the pass rate. Please don't think that you have a less chance passing in an automatic than you do a manual. I believe any individual who does a driving test will have a greater chance in an automatic than a manual simply because it's easier but it's the group that you're in that has a lower pass rate so if you want to do automatic don't think oh i'm going to have less chance of passing no i believe you will have more chance it's just the group you're in has a lower chance so learn what you want to learn if you want to learn manual learn manual if not learn automatic and you shouldn't need to make excuses for what you choose to learn and on that note if you're learning to drive automatic in the uk it's quite likely that you will get pressure from friends and family to learn in a manual. They may even mock you for learning in an automatic, but learn what you want to learn in. There's nothing wrong with driving an automatic. There's nothing wrong with having an automatic driving license. There's nothing wrong with having a manual driving license. The only thing that's wrong is not allowing individuals to make their own choices. Well, I hope this video helps you understand why the pass rate for the automatic driving test in the UK is lower and that it helps you feel comfortable with your decision to drive whatever it is you choose to drive. If you think it does, please give the video a thumbs up. Check out Conningwood and Confused in the description. If you're learning to drive, Conningwood can help because you can insure yourself on somebody else's car without affecting their policy via the link at the moment. That's up to 35% off and an Amazon gift card of £20. 
Also, Confuse.com can help you if you're looking to insure your own car because you fill out one quote form and you get loads of quotes back and you can change the car on that quote as many times as you like to compare how much it costs to insure different cars. Using the links doesn't cost you anything, but it does support the channel, so thank you very much. Subscribe to get my future videos. Check out Facebook and Instagram if you wish. They're both Conquer Driving. And until the next one, cheerio.